Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Um, today we're in the shop. <laughs> I'm by myself, it's Saturday, so I figured I'd do a tool cart slash toolbox uh, tour slash update or whatever. Um, uh, we have a whole lot of nothing going on, so might as well do something here. Productive. I haven't put out a video in a while, so we'll start off with the tool cart and then we'll move over to the toolbox. So the first thing, I lost my pocket flashlight down the vent tube over there, so that's cool. So now I have I only have this flashlight until I buy another one. I have my half inch socket set here, deep and shallow. Uh, I got Icon Swivel for half inch and three eighths. Uh, adapters for downsizing in sockets. Some flip sockets here, uh, 21 and a half, 22 and a half. I uh, think this is yeah, 18 and a half, 19 and a half, and then a 21, 19. I have my 3 8 sockets here. Uh, I have some Allen key type sockets, and there's, those are only used for used cars. Um, nothing for Nissan really needs. Uh, Alan got my 3H ratchet that I use for everything. My 3H extensions. I have one wobble extension right here. I have my half inch M18 Milwaukee gun and then my M12 stubby. Still, still broken. Still broken as ever. Still kicking it though. Still works. I got my quarter inch sockets here, some cheap shallows and some Pittsburgh deeps uh, along with a couple more Allen keys for like Fords and stuff. Uh, T, what is this, T15 uh, for doing cabin air filters and that in Armadas and QX80s. Uh, one of the swivels there. Um, we'll start with this side. Quarter inch extensions, different sizes, some pry bars, small pry bar, medium sized pry bar, some half inch extensions, used to be a screwdriver there, screwdriver no longer exists, turned into a punch, a handle got punched off of it by a hammer, uh, screwdriver, screwdriver, some 3 8 extensions back there. Those are wobble. Uh, got a straight pick, a 90 degree pick, and then some more screwdrivers. So I got my screwdriver for listening to wheel bearings and all that kind of stuff. Some more screwdrivers, extra screwdrivers, more and more screwdrivers, whatever. First drawer on the left over here. Got an inspection mirror, got a magnet, got a nasty. Thanks to brush. Um, got this set here for uh, oil filter caps. I don't use it that much since coming to Nissan, but you never know, so I just keep it in here. Got a Scotch Bright pad uh, for making things look nice. Another brush, uh, center punch for. I haven't actually used this here. This is this was mainly in my cart for doing a uh, taking the screws, set screws out of rotors and stuff like that over at Firestone. Uh, got some, these came out of rims for like a truck. Uh, they are like lug centric adapter things. Uh, I just, the truck that I popped them out of didn't need them, couldn't use them. So I use them here. I keep, we use an on-car lathe. So to keep the one rotor from Scraping against the bracket, I just put one of these on, then put a lug nut on, holds it in place. A uh, scraper, another brush, some white lithium grease for some recalls, a uh, fuel line disconnect tool for, I think this one's for Toyo uh, Toyotas and Nissans, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong. That's, that's it for that drawer, nothing else. Next door down, 
Got a bunch of pliers. <laughs> got uh, vice grip pliers, long needle nose pliers, short needle nose pliers, some heavy, like, some regular pliers, uh, wire dikes, oil filter pliers, uh, angry pliers, Nipex pliers, uh, hose clamp pliers. Just an assortment of pretty much like if I'm gonna take this and go across the shop, way over, way over there. I I like to have everything I might need instead of having to run back to my box. So even if I'm not gonna use it every day, it's still in there just in case. Other drawer. This is my like air tool drawer that sometimes gets used. I got my air hammer from Snap On. I got my angle grinder with a pad on it for cleaning up rust. I have a blowgun for blowing things. I have uh, one of the one of these pads, one of these guys, one of the 3M bristle drill brush things. Gets rid of rust pretty fast. And then got my half inch impact in there. Uh, that's pretty much retired at this point. Next door down, we have my wrench drawer and. I also have my half inch ratchet in there uh, and quarter inch ratchet. Quarter inch ratchet, snap on, Pittsburgh. Uh, oil filter um, thing, plier thing. I uh, got a, the Icon wrench set here, just regular combination wrench set. I have 24, 22, and 221s for like doing alignments. I have the mountain wrench set, from, but I bought mine from Metco. Uh, missing the 10.8 because I lost it. It's gone. It's out in the abyss somewhere in a car. Oh well. I'll buy another one eventually. Um, and if you're wondering on prices on any of these things, just ask in the comments. I'm sure either me or somebody else will answer it for you. Next door down, I got my axle nut socket set. I got my... Rivals and such. Sorry, weird, weird noise coming from the shop. Uh, or adapters for my air hammer. I got my actual hammers uh, and then a caliper hanger. On the side, I have my air gauge. And down below, I have brake caliper compressor along with uh, the turnstile type. I got a bag of rags because can never have too many rags. Uh, radiator, no spill, fill funnel, burp thing. Uh, got my tool bag back there for when I need to take tools home. And that's the tool cart. Eight minutes of the tool cart, wow. This is my box. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. So up here, I'll move this out of the way. So up here, we have my notepad, some other things, some Teflon tape. One more down, we got some rags, some hoses for doing an assortment of things, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, got like dielectric grease, warranty seal, um, some belt gauges, and some rubber bands, and a file, there's a file down in there. Next one down, we have, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. We got a piece of cardboard for holding up windows when doing like window motors and regulators, and a glue stick. Next door down, we got a bunch of, of key fob batteries. I just collect them, I don't know why. If they're not completely dead, I just throw them in here. Picks, punches, chisels, all that kind of stuff in here. Allen keys, some gross brushes, a new scotch bright pad, just in case I need it, which I probably never do. Uh, this guy for taking off, mainly for changing out the copper crush gaskets that we have to change out on every train plug. 
the extra down. Got my fuse buddy, uh, temperature gauge thing, power. It says power probe, but it's a just takes temperature. If you know it, if if you know, you know. It's good for AC. Test light, multimeter, flashlight, some Harbor Freight test lights, another headlamp thing, and then my Matco CR Pro Reader thing, bopper. Yeah. Uh, oil filter caps, more of them. Another oil filter cap. This one's for Land Rover, Range Rover. Some bits, screwdrivers, oil filter cap for Nissan. Impact screwdriver set that I never use. I literally just use the punch and a hammer. The center punch and a hammer, if needed. Screwdrivers. Socket drawer. And then also retired. Like ratchets and ratchets that I bought and just never used. Like this thing's brand new. Just never got used. Just thrown in there. Got some half inch extensions back there, some wheel locks that were either accidentally stolen or uh, given to me. Torx bits, uh, some the Allen keys I don't use. Half inch swivel, some more sockets that are just thrown into the abyss. Uh, some turbo socket set, a couple rails with just three eighths, random three eighths sockets. Get rail with a couple random half inch sockets. These are just duplicates, or ones that I don't need. Uh, inverted torque set, a little, some little hand ratchets from Harbor Freight, or finger ratchets. They're pretty nice, pretty useful. Pass through socket set, breaker bar, uh, another, <laughs> another breaker bar that I bought and didn't need, but now I have. Uh, some spline key sockets, some more Torx bits, a, what is this, oh yeah, 36 thin wall for like, okay, so Fiat's have a wheel bearing, the nut on the wheel bearing, you have to have a very thin wall, 36 millimeter socket, where you can't get that nut off. <coughs> Master spark plug socket set, uh, half inch wobbles extension set. My dead to the world wrench drawer. Uh, wrench drawer. Um, got my. These aren't dead to the world. These are my ratcheting wrenches that I don't use every day. I just keep them in here because when I need them, they're useful. Uh, uh, adjustable wrenches. My Pittsburgh wrench set that I started out with and it just retired into here. Stubby wrench set. Got my drill, drill bits, uh, some cutoff wheels, <coughs> my cutoff wheel, actual cutoff wheel, some batteries for the M18, the M12, my M12 batteries being glued, and this one just being busted, rough. And then some Bauer batteries, because I have the drill. And then some more, uh, Adapters for the air hammer. Got my vacuum. Big pry bar. Small pry bar. Serpentine valve tool. And nail hammer. That's actually what I started off using as a, in air, as a hammer for here. Adapters for the vacuum. Coolant pressure tester, ball joint kit. Uh, this is for like boots for ball joints. You put it on and you smack it with a hammer and the boot goes down on. For fuel system cleanings here, we put this into like the intake and spray some gunk down there. And then my just miscellaneous drawer. Over here, we got slides and stuff. and. This is for like a distributor. We got brake flaring tool that will never get used again. 
uh, four piston caliper to pressure some uh, brake shoe wrench things, uh, a ratchet strap, a uh, bungee cord, some gloves, and some polishing, some batteries, some bolts and nuts, paperwork, and then my personal stuff. And then got some stoof over here. Got the battery tester for the side of the shop over here. I got some parts trays, more batteries, battery charger, some bags, keys, clips, speaker, and another battery charger. And then the iPad, um, some other stuff, and a bag for mock stuff. But that is, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, updated toolbox tour. It was a little bit longer of a toolbox tour, but toolbox and tool cart tour. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.